Hi, I'm Macy, and today I'll be sharing with you my iPad Pro setup and how the iPad fits in my daily workflow. My workflows are pretty fluid. I don't tend to keep to a daily routine, so no two days are ever the same. Because of this, I prefer setups that are as flexible as my brain tends to be. The iPad is perfect for me because it's both convenient and functional. It has enough functionality to support my flexible workflows, especially when paired with some awesome accessories like the Logitech Combo Touch. I want to say thanks so much to Logitech for sponsoring this video and for gifting me the Combo Touch case. The Combo Touch is a sleek iPad case with an integrated backlit keyboard and trackpad, making the ultimate portable productivity device. The keyboard and trackpad is built into the case and gives the iPad the functionality of a laptop. But what's great is that it's conveniently detachable to retain the ease of use and simplicity of a tablet. It also has a kickstand, which allows me to conveniently view my iPad from different angles, which is great and comfortable for different use cases. This case has really transformed the way I use my iPad in my day to day, and I find myself using my iPad way more because of the extra comfort and functionality that the Combo Touch brings to my iPad experience. Let me walk you through my home screen setup. I tend to keep things pretty minimal. I have one home screen with the apps that I use most often and a few useful widgets to give me a bunch of information at a quick glance. I keep widgets on the left side of my screen and use my custom designed icons for my favorite apps on the right. If you're interested in purchasing my icon pack, I've linked it in the description below, as well as a video that I've made in the past on how to customize your home screen. Now, let's get into my favorite ways to use the iPad. First, I'll go over how it fits into my day-to-day -day as a software engineer and designer. The iPad is a great design tool. I use the app GoodNotes in my mood boarding process to sketch out ideas. Being able to pull in images and write out my ideas on my tablet is a very fluid and intuitive experience and allows my ideas to flow more naturally. When I'm done with mood boarding, I'll open up Figma and start working on some high fidelity wireframes. Figma is my app of choice for all things design whether I'm designing wireframes, custom app icons, YouTube thumbnails, and wallpapers. The Figma experience isn't perfect on the iPad, but it's nice to be able to work on designs wherever I want. Sitting at my desk all day can really bog me down, so a change of scenery helps re-energize me and stimulates my creative process. When I'm ready to take my designs and bring them to life, I like to use my iPad as an additional screen to reference my designs. Using Apple's sidecar functionality, I'm able to connect my iPad to my laptop to provide extra screen real estate, which is actually super helpful. I can use my monitor for VS Code and the website I'm developing, and then I can look at my iPad whenever I need to reference my designs for one seamless workflow. Now, let's walk through how I use my iPad as a content creator. I mainly use it to edit my photos, do some light planning for videos, and manage my YouTube channel. To edit my photos, I like to use the app Lightroom. It has everything I need to create a warm and cozy feeling in all of my shots. I've created some presets to help me achieve this look more quickly and consistently. 
For video planning, I do most of my work in Notion. It's nice to be able to work on my video ideas and also my personal life schedules, but not having to be confined to my desk. Comment down below if you'd be interested in seeing a tour of my Notion workspace and how I use Notion to plan out my projects, video ideas, and schedules. I also love using my iPad to manage my YouTube channel too. I love engaging with all of you and responding to as many comments as I can on my Instagram, Twitter, and of course my YouTube channel. So being able to do that from the comfort of my couch is really nice. For when I just want to lounge around and relax, I like to watch my favorite shows on my iPad. It's got a really nice big display and some great speakers, so it's a pretty immersive experience. The same goes for playing games too. I've been playing Genshin Impact for the past year and it looks gorgeous on the iPad. So that's how I like to use my iPad. It's nice to have something that lets me be productive without having to be locked to my desk. I value the flexibility that the iPad gives me in my workflow, especially when combined with the Logitech Combo Touch case. I can go from being productive to being creative and then being relaxed and entertained anywhere I want. I also love how the iPad lets me handwrite notes or drawings. For some reason, the act of writing really helps me channel my creativity. It's a more fluid form of expression for me. I'm more in touch with my ideas when I write or draw, and typing always feels a bit more detached. As always, thanks so much for tuning in. Share your thoughts below, like this video, and subscribe for more desk setup, aesthetic tech, and design and code content. See you in the next one.